In this video, we'll be looking at getting started with the VetIT OTR app. When I first open the app, I'm presented with the following screen, where I can enter in my username and password that I normally use for the VetIT web app. I will also be asked to enter my practice name. This is the first part of the .myvetit.com URL that you normally use to access VetIT on the web. In this instance, I normally access VetIT using otr.myvetit.com and so I've entered OTR into the practice box. Once I've entered this information, I can press the login button and this will authenticate me with the main VetIT system. Once authenticated, I will then be able to download my diary for the day into the app. This will bring down information such as the clients and patients that I'm going to see, as well as the stock related to my currently logged in location. Once this information has been downloaded, I'm presented with the main VetIT menu screen. Here, I can view clients, patients, or stock. I can search any of these if there's a long list, and I can also search online. I can also synchronize my data back to the main VetIT system if I've entered new information whilst on the road. This will be investigated in more detail in a later video. I'm also able to hit the logout button and this will clear down any information stored on the device and allow me to log in again as somebody else. At the bottom of the screen, you can see your current stock location and department listed. So currently I'm Stroud and I'm an equine. And then finally, underneath that, there are three icons, home, appointments, and settings. These allow me to navigate to the main screens in the system, either back home to this screen here, to appointments to see what's going on for my diary, or into settings, where I can control how the application functions. The first option I have is About. This will tell me information about the current app I'm using, my username, my location, my department, and the build number of this version of the app. On the top, you can see a blue bar, which is the navigation bar in the app, and in here, there will be a number of icons that appear from different screens. Currently, I just have the one icon, the round circle with the back button, and this will navigate me back to the previous screen but other screens will have more information available in subscreens, and you press the icons listed here and they will take you into those functions. So I'm gonna press the back button. The next section I have is data settings, and this controls the amount of information available to me in the app. I can control the number of days of appointments to download. I can control the number of days of appointments to retain and the number of medical records to download. By sliding the sliders, I can adjust the number, as you can see here. The more I download, the longer it'll take, but equally, I have more information offline available to me. The number of days of appointments to retain is useful if you want to refer back to previous day's work. The number of medical records to download will influence how much information you can view on a patient from past work. The next section, Startup Settings, controls how the app performs when I first open it, if it's either been closed or it's gone to sleep. Here you can see that I have Update Stock on Start. This is currently turned off, but by switching it on, I can then update my stock so that the app is refreshed with the current prices and stock quantities that I have set up in the main VetIT system. I can also update appointments on start, and this will ensure that every time the app is brought back into action, current appointments are updated, if new ones have been created back at the practice, or if I've created uh, new appointments in the app, and my diary will be refreshed. Finally, we have uh, import all patients, and this is useful if you're visiting um, a yard, for instance, where you may want to see more than just the one patient's medical records. And this will allow you to bring down all those patients associated with the client's account for the appointment 
into the app and so they'll all be viewable offline. The next setting is stock settings. This will default to my currently set up uh, working practice, working profile. My current location is Stroud, so any stock I have set in Stroud will appear in this app. If I go into the screen, I can see any other stock locations in the system. So these could be different cars or vans. And by selecting a different location, my stock will be refreshed. And this will allow me to have updated prices for a different stock location or price profiles, for instance. If I go back, I can see that the next section is photo settings. And this relates to the quality of the images that I can take and attach as clinical history to any of the patients that I'm visiting. I can, first of all, choose to save a high-res photo if I need high quality. I can change the quality of the photo, and I can also change the photo size. And this will obviously affect the file size to be uploaded, but sometimes you may want a high-quality image to attach to clinical history. And this is where you can change those settings. By pressing the Home button, I'm now taken back to the main menu. And here, I am able to see if there's any information to sync back up. And I can also log out if I want to. And this will ensure that um, I clean the phone down or the mobile, the tablet down. But uh, I'll also be prompted to confirm that I wish, wish to log out because I may have information, data that I've entered that I haven't uploaded yet. And here I'll be given the chance to cancel and upload it. But in this instance, I haven't saved anything. And so I'm going to press confirm. And this will log me out back into the screen for another user.